welcome to today's video it is 12 47 already we're starting out the day we're starting out the day with homeschool it took us till 12 47 from like 9 a.m till 12 47 gabby did two units of math did she do two units of math um one and a half two two and a half two and a half units of math like that's the thing with homeschool you work as fast as you can or as slow as you can and when you're actually getting it you go fast so how it works for her is that she's doing the government homeschool, working towards her high school diploma, and it is hard. It's hard to work by yourself, so we teach her. Math is super struggling. Soon she'll be done math. Is she soon gonna be done math? We hope so, because it's a hard one. What? She's getting it, so it's easy, yeah. So anyway, she's working along with that. So he's working along with regular old homeschool. She's doing well. And I clean and, and get stuff done and it's a lot of work. Vlogging, homeschool, horses. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but I love it. I feel so excited and today is even more exciting because today is going to be the first day that I'm going to ride Penny outside. So you guys know I've been riding her inside over poles, just very not riding her a lot. Mostly like two days a week walking and then one day riding back and forth back and forth back and forth trying to rehab her she's got some nice new pink boots and today i'm gonna ride her up the hill that i've been walking her and i'm scared out of my mind but i'm gonna do it because i know i can i know she can i know that we i know i've got the skills i need to make her pay attention to me and to make her feel confident and it's gonna be huge <laughs> I'm so scared, but I know I can do it and I want to do it and it's just a little tawny hill and she's not a very Aggressive horse meaning that even if she like gets upset and tries to like do something It's never anything huge. I know I can handle everything that she's got I guess is what I'm trying to say So yeah, that's what today's video is gonna be about uh, Sam and I are starting out the day doing some shopping and then um and then we're gonna get right to it. I'm prolonging my destiny. My destiny to ride a penny again outside. We are back from a shopping and I have just gotten it into my mind that it is time to straighten up things and get things ready for winter because winter is in the air. Is that what happens to you guys? Or do you just like do it naturally like a good person instead of waiting until winter is in the air? What are you doing? <laughs> Sam is making a mess here. Getting all this wet hay. Why are you getting all the wet hay? No, I didn't want it to be wet. He didn't think it was going to be hay, wet. It's straw, by the way. Straw, not hay. Spit it out, Sam, with his day by day shirt. We have making a new a pattern coming out for Christmas soon, guys. Making what? a barrier for the where the water is because there's a gets cold there. He's making a barrier for the water so it doesn't freeze this winter. If you know what he's talking about, you know. If you don't know what he's talking about, then join the club! Also, I am bringing all of our outside stuff inside still. And essentially that means a big mess in my barn. So I want to get that cleaned up. A lot of stuff to do when you winterize, get ready for winter. Like a lot of stuff. I'm strong! So they just ripped apart a tire. We are working at figuring out stuff. Getting all of our summer stuff put in these buckets. We have all of our car seats because we have a lot of grandbabies. What the heck is that? This is a remote control for a car seat? What could it be for? It's a mystery. I just wanna pack away everything that was for summer. All right, I got all of our car seats here. Actually, I have one extra one. This is for all my grandkids. I think I should cover them because they're really cute. You're supposed to be cleaning, sister. Well, Sam's been cleaning out his little man cave back there the last few so weeks. Man his man cave. Have you never heard the expression man cave? I have, but I found it stupid. <laughs> I found it stupid too. Do we have a sled? Why do you find it stupid, Gabby? Why is this, the idea of a man cave stupid? Because it just sounds stupid. A like men cave? deserve and cave, to belong in caves. Well, they, they're kind of like cavemen, like dumb. A man cave shouldn't be as messy as that. I know, and he blames it on us. Uh, this is my beloved 
floaty that I use every single year. Gabby has been tasked with the job of deflating it. And men are not stupid, Gabby. They have boy brains. It's just different than girl brains. Which means they're stupid. No, they're not stupid. They just are different. So here is the bed that I put for the cat last year. Why is that Put this nice warm garbage? pink blanket in, in there for bed. them, but they never went in there, never used it. And this year I have a heating mat in there, so hopefully when it gets cold enough, we'll be able to light that up or turn it on. No, for the cat. For me? For the cat. It's fine. I'm a cat. You know Thumper? Yeah. Um, he keeps you very warm in winter. Who's Thumper? The cat, cat from the barn. I don't know what to do with all these. All right, saddle pads. Saddle pads, saddle pads. They can go on top of that shelf. We have to clean it off. I feel short to reach on top of that. Yeah, and so we have been keeping all of our saddle pads on this shelf, but sometimes when it rains, it leaks there, and so Ow. that's not a good spot. I have an answer. All right, what's the answer? Move that shelf over here. Wow, that's kind of genius, actually. Why have we never done that? It's common sense. It is common sense. This is a family of no common sense. I think it's because we always keep our tack trunk there. Where's our tack trunk? Oh, I think Gabby's container for her studs has fallen over because that's what this stuff looks like. I'm over here getting things cleaned up for the barn, procrastinating, and because I'm gonna be riding my, ba my mare in a few minutes. I have and an idea. I look, and this is what I see. I see my happy girl looking at me. Laura, are we gonna ride soon? It's our time. It's our day. I swear they know more than I we have think. An idea. What's your idea? Move those over there. Move those blankets and those buckets over here. And then move this over here and put the tax trunk right there. So the problem with your plan of moving that stuff over here. It's because it's screwed onto a wall. It's because we would need your dad. And he he's busy. Group power! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, right. Meanwhile, over on this side of the barn, 27 hours later, Gabby finally got my floaty f put away. She folded it, got it deflated. On this she's, side, it looks great. Yeah, she's good like her What's dad. It? She's a perfectionist like her dad. That's a clicker thing. It's a clicker thing. It's a clicker training thing. My dog's deaf. <coughs> I'm like dying from the We're dirt. Oh. Yeah, see, it's like Christmas. Whenever you clean the barn. the barn. Okay, so let's talk about these it's things. Brand new. These things. Look at the bright orange one. So that's what I want to talk about. We want to talk about reflective wear when we ride on the roads. I'm not going to talk about that. I'll talk about it. So, in some countries where the roads are designed really tiny and where riding outside on roads is normal and regular, they have all these rules and the roads are really bindy, windy, and Every, it's, necess, it's necessary to wear reflective clothing. It is such a good habit to be in no matter where you are, but where we live, where horses don't ride on roads all the time and where our roads are designed completely different and where cars ride differently with different rules, I don't know, it's not a common thing here to wear them. So even though it's a great idea, it's well thought out, it's like how we should do it, it's not as, big of a deal here. I know some people get irate if we don't wear our reflective stuff and I know it's because that's what, that's what it's like where they live and that's what it's expected where they live. But in Canada, they're really chill about that. People are really chill about that. However, I have bought a bunch of it. I have those and stuff that girls got for Christmas last year. We just have not gotten to the habit of wearing it because we don't road ride a lot. Mom, put my half pad on. Put her half pad on. Here we go. You need a whip now. Oh gosh, this is not a good, not a good sign for my ride in a few minutes. Cleaner again. One garbage bag full of garbage to the garbage. I know she loves her eyes rubbed. Uh, it's just rubbing all the dirt off. I know. She likes it. Oh, and here come the dogs. Sophie is giving my girl uh, English makeover. She's gonna be green. It's because I. We only have a hundred ear bonnets. You got a hand warmer. Can we brought? My hands are all muddy. So and what are you actually drinking? What is that drink that you like? Coffee. It's not coffee. It's. It's caramel. It's a cappuccino. Cappuccino. Caramel cappuccino. Caramel cappuccino. All right. This is. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's, it's cob size. Cob size. Well, okay. You know what? My horse gets scared of something. I throw it at him. 
Works every single time. Well, my horse is a different horse. Even in cross ties. Oh, oh, too tight. Hits him in the face, it hits him in the face. They find a different one oh. doesn't care after that. Uh oh. It fits perfectly. You're a cob. Mm -mm. No, too small. Too small. My, my penny has an English girl. <laughs> We are ready to saddle up. Actually, I'm gonna sweep that stuff first. You looking ready, Penny? Gabby, what do you think is gonna happen when I ride Penny up the hill? Nothing. Good, I love it. Can you put her leg things on for me? You're better at it. Okay, and now she's getting white. Do you guys remember that video we made on Sophie's channel? Oh, that is what I like. I like a diamond girl. tighter fitting coat. Do you want a tighter this fitting coat? This is big and bulky. This you is want... size too. Yeah. Well, it doesn't even fit me. Yeah, and then air it's goes up loose. the back. Yeah. It's okay, meant for you to wear a sweater. It's oh, look small. at my girl. Yeah, you know. My diamond girl. Cool. It has big donkey ears, Sophia. It has big donkey ears. But look, her ears don't even fit it. Yeah. Almost fit it. Oh my gosh, her ears fit all the way to the top. She's got wide ears. Fit all the way to here, Gabby. Yeah. Just a teeny tiny tip. This is supposed to be all the way down Oh yeah, here. so it's too small. No, the horse has big ears. You have big ears, Penny Pickle. She's like, don't call me big ears. <laughs> I will throw you off. No, don't throw me off. <laughs> don't Why even think about that. Head? Don't even get that in your head, Pen. We're gonna ride, love. I know. <laughs> She's looking at me. Hmm. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I just remembered my bridle. The last time I was down here, I switched it to bitless. <laughs> I'm riding bitless. I'm riding bitless. Pim, we are riding bitless. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> Whoops. Holy crap. There's been an injury on the day by day farm. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? It just hurts worse and worse. <laughs> You've got a huge lump. So tell them what happened, Sophie. Mom put me in the face. <laughs> Mom hit me a in the face with a metal stirrup. So let's reenact this, but not really. She was standing on this side. I was standing on this side, and all all I did was like trying no, to. She lifted it up so much. Yeah, she I. She did not. Apparently, Sylvia was standing on the wrong place at the wrong think time. She did uh, this with a stirrup. Yeah, I did. Or... No, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, anyway, miscommunication okay, okay. and poof, Sophie got a stirrup in the forehead and it hurt her for a few minutes and then she got better. And <laughs> no, it still hurts. Oh, it's not funny. It's not funny to hurt somebody. It was an accident. Are you, I'm sorry, Sophie. I didn't mean to hurt you. We are all, so this was a lot easier for me to put on. I hate you then. Gabby's <laughs> reenacting. Oh, Other side. <laughs> I'll have oh. twin bumps. Hurts. Yeah, this flew down. right down on her. <laughs> wow, I could like you have a huge bump. You wanna see? I already saw it. Dad showed me on his phone. Who did? Dad. Oh, you showed Dad already? Yeah. What'd Dad say? I forget. Oh. All right. So what are we doing now? You're gonna. Grab I feel like the saddle's shifted. I need to fix that. Or it could be your horse. Or it could be my horse. Shift your feet the right oh, way, no, Pen. No. Turn her head. Turn her head? No. no. All right, so, so Gabby took the, the bit out of this, and when I went to put it on her, she knew she was getting the bit because she you knows about the me. saddle. Yeah, I told her to. I did. I want to ride my horse bitless. So you I think I'm ready to ride her bitless, don't though? Don't blame me if you die. Yeah, don't blame anybody. All right, I might ride her in the arena for a few minutes and then go outside. So I'm going to tell you guys my secret. My secret to not being upset and stressed and worried. The secret is to just let it go. Let it go. If you die, you die, and it's your time. Just joking, <laughs> don't ever say that. Oh, the secret to not being scared is trust. Trust and faith. Trust and faith, sister. That's what life is all about. Trust and, and not faith. not having a huge bump on your head. Not having a huge bump on your head. Yeah, you you only head. one injury on the day-by-day -day farm at a time. A, that gives you a headache. You got a headache? Yeah. Well, I'll give you Tylenol. I had one before. You guys know we never even take Tylenol at our house. Like, we never get hurt. Where are you going? I go this way. I go in here. Turn around. Instead of trying to back my horse out. Okay, hold on. All right, Penny, we're riding bitless. You ready? 
I hope you like it. She doesn't like things with pressure on her nose because in the bitless bridle that I have, she doesn't love that. Took some time, but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby. An absent mind came to roam around. Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge I'm ready to go See it clear when the shadows are lit I'm ready to go go in there. She seems mad. Does she seem mad? No. no. looks better and it still hurts really badly so that's it for today's video when i ride her when she started to kind of go a little when gabby was walking her she well i was like whoa i remember her. i love this so much don't you know that you're beautiful just the